Hi Libra, it's Elle here to do your monthly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so let's see what's going on for you Libra. Well, it's okay. The Six of Cups wanting to show its face here. Let's see. Could be dealing with uh, Scorpio. Okay. Connecting backwards. Some of you could feel like you're with a soulmate type of energy. This person could be younger than you or you're younger than them. Uh, it just feels good. It's just simple, you know, to be with them. It's not too convoluted. It's not complicated. It's not confusing. Uh, there could be children, children involved here. Um, you want children or you have children. Children can be playing a big part within the dynamic, the relationship. This could be a healthy connection here. It just feels good once again. This could even indicate marriage or just um, a healthy bond. This also sometimes on the flip side could even indicate that, um, you know, arguments or disagreements between the two of you. They turn into, you know, conversations turn into arguments because of somebody's lack of emotional maturity. Like they don't, they just don't know how to process their emotions. So somebody gets hot headed or somebody doesn't know how to express themselves or express their emotions through their words. Somebody could just be altogether childish here. Let's clarify the six. Of, yeah, somebody doesn't know how to express themselves. Could be you, Libra, King of Swords here. Um, maybe you get to a place where you just don't say anything. Um, you're real exact. You could be dealing with somebody who feel like somebody is real exact with you or they they could be like verbally manipulative they know what to say they know how to put it together they know how to take you to that place of believing them or just maybe calming you down with the six of cups the ace of swords and the king of swords it's like maybe you're seeing the truth of the matter about a particular person For some reason, it's like you got to make a head over heart decision about this person or they're trying to do this with you here. It's like maybe there's someone here who um, is thinking about a past person or they're going backwards. They're connecting backwards and through with all the distractions being gone. They're now seeing that somebody is the one or they're a soulmate or this is the person that they're supposed to be with. Now they have to make a head over heart decision about maybe reaching out to this person or um, coming out of bachelorhood or, you know, um, changing their mind about that. What is the advice for Libra? What's the advice for Libra? The Ten of Cups? He has like, maybe, with the, so you got cups coming up. So it's like emotion head over heart decision head heart with the emotions it's like you don't know where to go with this one with the ten of cups here it has something to do with family um calling the truce within a family making something happen maybe a family member will come to you and try to go into business with you um, this is also um the highest level of happiness you know that something isn't you know that you're happy or that emotionally you're fulfilled or there's fulfillment, but it kind of comes and goes or it's whimsical or it's there when someone is saying the right things to you. It's like you always need validation or you're always seeking validation, maybe from your counterpart, from your masculine energy, especially if you're a feminine energy. Um, with the six of, I said six of swords, uh, six of cups here. It's like you're trying to make something real. It's like you got dreams, you got hopes, you got aspirations. It's like you're trying to make it real. You don't want it to be whimsical and emotional anymore. Maybe you know that somebody is the one or that you need to do something, that you need to act fast or someone feels this way about you. What is the outcome here for Libra? The temperance card. So maybe uh, this talks about a 
traditional healthy marriage or our relationship it talks about the yin and the yangs maybe somebody does kind of balance you out moderation do something in moderation you could even be trying to tell someone to do something in moderation it could have something to do with their diet what they need to eat what they're not eating what they're not putting in their body You got the high priestess also showing up. So you got counterparts, the magician and the high priestess. So it's like, again, back to something not being made real, but the opportunity to make it real. I don't know if you sat down with your person and said, are we boyfriend and girlfriend? Are we getting married? Are we getting engaged? Or something where you just feel like, okay, this could really work, but it's not real. We're still in a place of, It's kind of an illusion. We need to bring it down and we need to ground the energy. This could even be somebody, have, if you're already in a marriage, somebody could have a third party here. Someone could have some, someone that they're seeing. This could come out. This person has been seeing this other person, yeah, for a very long time. They could live far. They have to travel to this person. And that could be the relationship that's not real. It looks like, I don't know if it's you, Libra. Yeah, it could be you. You could be the wife and you're devoted and dedicated to the legacy of the relationship. Therefore, even if you find out that your person is cheating, you're not leaving. You're not going anywhere. Yeah, you definitely, you're not going anywhere. Um, there could be that somebody wants you to retire your relationship or your title, give it up. It's like you have an indication of something is going on in your marriage, but your person has an indication that you're doing something, but they can't exactly prove it. And you always talk them down, you level them out, or you know what to say that brings them to a place of of balance or peace or compromise or harmony. Um, therefore, they stay, they stick around. But I don't know, it could come out that you are having an affair or you're involved in some no strings attached type of relationship, or maybe it was a one off, maybe you slept with a person one time, or your person did, or this could be an ongoing affair. But it looks like there is no breakup or no breakdown of the relationship. For some of you, you come into the conclusion that <clears throat> this person that you're not with or you haven't really made it real with, this is your person and maybe you need to go after this. You need to put some energy behind this. All of a sudden, maybe you want to take the relationship in a new direction. You want something new to develop. You want to work on the connection. And you want to make, you want to give this person a status change. That's for some of you. This is what I have for you, uh, Libra. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comments section. Um, go over to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. You can also come learn the Torah with me. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Libra. Many blessings to you. Take care.